Abenomics is an economics package of so-called three, three arrows. Okay? The first one is the aggressive monetary policy to get out of deflation. And second arrow is a fiscal policy, short-run stimulus, but in the medium run, consolidation, which means the fiscal tightening. So this is a sort of uh, interesting uh, mix of the short-run stimulus and, and the medium-term uh, 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 consolidation. Uh, we need this consolidation because uh, fiscal situation is very bad. The first arrow is um, uh, on target. The inflation rate is going up. Second arrow is also near the target as the uh, fiscal consolidation is starting. And third arrow growth strategy is uh, still far from the target. So that's the conclusion that it's, all, it's still on the way, but we have uh, initial success. Okay, so um, um, first arrow is to lift the inflation rate from deflation to a 2% inflation target, okay? So 2% uh, inflation target has been adopted in uh, many advanced economies, and uh, U.S. adopted in 2012. Uh, e e ECB is not, uh, formally not saying that it's inflation target, but it de facto inflation target. And 2% inflation target formally has been adopted in U.K., Canada, Australia, Thailand, Korea, uh, everywhere, that uh, it has become the norm of the uh, monetary policy. And uh, Japan, during the uh, period of deflation, Bank of Japan hesitated to adopt this, thinking that uh, declaring 2% and not achieving it could damage reputation. But we think that was wrong, that uh, we, uh, Bank of Japan was not aggressive enough to uh, try to get out of deflation. So the first thing, the um, Mr. Abe, when he was elected as the uh, leader of opposition, even before he became prime minister, uh, started to say that the getting out of deflation is a priority number one. Okay, so uh, this is a yen dollar exchange rate uh, movement. The first line is uh, mid November 2012, when the general election. Uh, was announced, which means a lower house was dissolved by the previous prime minister. So Mr. Abe, starting the election campaign, said that Bank of Japan's policy is wrong and we need aggressive monetary policy to achieve 2% inflation target. Uh, to get out and getting out of deflation is a necessary condition for all other policies to achieve uh, the uh, normal growth economy in Japan. So he talked, 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 and markets started to believe that Bank of Japan will change. So he also forced the Bank of Japan uh, to change the policy to adopt a 2% inflation target in January, and also he replaced the uh, term expiring governor Governor Shirakawa with the uh, Governor Kuroda, who was much more uh, uh, close, closer to the uh, Mr. Abe in thinking of 2% uh, inflation target is a good idea. So this political movement which Mr. Abe led to change the uh, central bank policy actually influenced the market so that yen dollar exchange rate depreciated from about 80 yen per dollar to 100 yen per dollar eventually. Mr. Kuroda, when he was uh, nominated and elected as uh, governor, uh, introduced a very uh, a bold uh, initiative called quantitative and qualitative uh, man, uh, Quant uh, qual quantitative and qualitative easing, QQE, as acronym goes. And uh, that also surprised the market how bold it was, basically uh, uh, doubling a balance sheet 
of the central bank in two years and lengthening the maturity of the government bonds uh, uh, Bank of Japan was, was buying. So, you know, uh, skipping all the details, that yen level uh, changed from 80 plus minus 5 to 100 plus minus 5, and it, the uh, rate has been sustained since last uh, April. This is the um, uh, stock price uh, Nikkei 2 to 5 index, and very similarly, uh, in parallel to a yen dollar exchange rate movement, that Nikkei uh, stock index has increased by 60% from about uh, 8,000 uh, to uh, 14,000, um, and has been sustained since um, uh, last um, uh, April. So, um, <clears throat> change of the monetary policy, or actually expectation of the change of the monetary policy, has produced this very strong market uh, reaction. And uh, this has lifted the uh, Japanese economy from the uh, long stagnation to a, on the recovery path, and uh, from long uh, deflation to a, on the way to the 2% inflation target. So, uh, briefly speaking, this is what, what happens, that the, uh, this is a balance sheet, size of a balance sheet of the Bank of Japan, red, ECB green, and Federal Reserve blue, and Bank of England uh, uh, black. So, um, other three central banks expanded balance sheets in the wake of Lehman Brothers' shock. And that's, that, that is a reaction of the central banks to stabilize the financial markets and save uh, financial institutions, but also that produced the currency depreciation. When other th three big currencies are depreciating, yen appreciated in relative terms. So yen was in the territory of about 75 to 80 yen for uh, four years before Mr. Abe uh, became the Prime Minister to, to advocate, uh, uh, to correct this uh, 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 situation. This is the inflation rate, uh, which was, you could see, red uh, and blue were below zero for a long time until uh, 2012 when Mr. Abe came in and started um, uh, to advocate this uh, policy. And, uh, and Mr. Kuroda followed it up with the actual QQE. And blue line is the so-called um, um, core CPI inflation rate, uh, which is excluding um, uh, fresh food but including energy. And red line is uh, excluding both the food and energy. In both index that the inflation rate has risen remarkably uh, from the uh, beginning of two, 2013 to most recent month. So it's an um, uh, increase from minus 0 0.5 to positive 1.3, and it's on the way to the targeted level of 2%. So this is a big success of the change in monetary policy, show, showing the power of monetary policy and um, uh, actually using it. Second arrow, is the uh, fiscal stimulus in the short run and uh, fiscal consolidation in the medium run. So uh, fiscal stimulus is needed when the uh, temporary downturn is observed and also uh, you make the uh, economy the extra boost when, uh, when needed. And this was applied when Mr. Abe came into the office and in tandem with monetary policy, there was a very strong dose of the fiscal policy. And um, uh, the problem of Japan is you cannot keep doing it because the uh, debt to GDP ratio is very high, much higher than Greece, Italy, Spain, and others. And um, uh, this is a result of continuous very large deficits. The red line is expenditure, blue line is tax revenue. And um, it has been widening gap uh, since 1990. Uh, that was the peak of the bubble. And during the bubble burst years uh, and uh, banking crisis 
and uh, all other difficulties that Japan had, uh, they tried fiscal stimulus or the tax uh, cut to stimulate the economy, but didn't get back to the normal economy to close the gap of expenditure and uh, tax revenues. So we need to close this gap in the medium run. But of course, in the short run, you need to uh, keep applying the stimulus when needed. But on the trend, we need to fiscally con consolidate. And um, I, I saved the details, but only way to do it to increase value added tax, which is called consumption tax in Japan. European countries like Sweden, Germany, France, they have the value added tax rate of uh, 20 to 25 percent. And that is the source of um, uh, expenditures. Uh, source of the expenditures um, for the uh, welfare state. U.S. doesn't have a uh, federal level of uh, uh, value-added tax because their welfare policy is not as good as, um, as uh, European countries. Japan has a European type of welfare policy, social security policy, and Japan should have a high value-added tax like European countries. And we started out with 5%, uh, and Abe added 3 percentage points uh, last month to 8%, and we are on the way to 10% uh, next year. And probably that won't be enough, but we have to start uh, gradually, and gradually going to 20% to stop this gap and uh, start reducing the um, uh, debt to GDP ratio. Okay, so um, uh, the third arrow is the growth strategy. And actually there are so many good ideas, but so little implementation. That is a problem. So I admit, yes, the third arrow is very slow to come, and uh, we need a lot of actions uh, uh, from, from here. But the, uh, there are areas already identified that we can uh, uh, do the structural reform to stimulate the demand and also uh, uh, potential growth. So uh, just, just to mention the uh, names, the health and medical care, agriculture, energy, and labor market reform, including mobilizing the uh, uh, child care, uh, child bearing caring uh, years of uh, women. So uh, these are the areas I don't have time to go into details, but the, clearly those in, increasing potential growth rates, uh, increasing uh, the potential output is uh, uh, on, on the agenda. As I said, implementation is slow, which slower than I expected and I hoped, but it's going in the right direction. Um, so combining these three arrows that the, um, we can jump, make jump from the deflationary trap the, that Japan has been, had been in for uh, 15 years and um, uh, make it to a normal economy uh, by combining these th three arrows. That's what Abenomics is about and we are on the way to success.